Hello everybody, this is your friendly neighbor Lisa Foxy and welcome back to Eastward as we are still trying to sneak in and get in here but uh, hopefully we will <laughs> Alright, so uh, if you guys got your snack and all that good stuff without further ado, we're going to go ahead and hop right into this Hopefully we can get past these monkeys Pretty tricky, but I think we could do it. I think if I do this right, I may have done it too soon. Oh yeah, I've done it too soon. So he's the only one that turns. I have to keep that in mind. Well, I actually gone through that one. Woo, too. Too fast. Okay, make him wait there. So we're gonna let her kinda lead. I just gotta remember that the one turns early. Now it's good. Nope. He turns. Oh, shoot. Turn down. Fast enough, I can get by. There we go. Oh, I see a distraction. There we go. Far does he? Okay. Is this gonna work? Where do you go? Oh, I see. I do have them. Shoot. Ooh. Oh, I get stuck like that. Alright, my girl. Not too sure how much. Okay. Looks like she's got a lot of work to do. And I got a time before he, that thing, comes by. Uh, 
rotate. I'm going to wait for that robot to kind of go by. Worst timing? No, worst timing! <laughs> worst timing, worst timing. I knew it too, it was coming and I was like... <laughs> It'll be worse timing. Crab? Get over here. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Well, well, I did that one wrong. I mean, I knew he was going to turn, but it was all it's all about that timing. Ah, it's all about the timing, because I'm racing against this thing. Go there, this, her. Why'd this cone have to be in the way? <laughs> it's just how fast he'd be whipping that weapon around. He's like... Oh, I see. So, I guess it didn't matter, because he was still going to see me this way. Okay. Turn. Thank God it. <laughs> it's like I gotta wait for that monkey to turn. Keep the 
switching sometimes throws me off. It's really, it's really bad. I'm gonna wait for that thing to go by first. Wait! <laughs> so why have that there then if it's not gonna. Okay. Alright. Looks like I'm gonna have to charge. Let me see how far this can, can actually hit. Well, that was that was a waste, wasn't it? Does it glow long enough? <laughs> There's just not enough. So flustered, I almost, I'm almost messing up the mechs. Oh wait, that was a bad idea. You guys are probably screaming, "Switch is done." <laughs> I can just time that. <laughs> so it does turn on from there. It's just I can't. I gotta not bap into the light. Okay. So I think I have a plan. Might work. It might. It might. Probably don't need to do all that, but just to be safe and sorry. Okay, once camera guy goes by, I will do my thing. It's not going to be enough. <gasps> no! Woo! Girl! Woo oh, but how is she going to get through? Oh, well, I have to go back the same way, don't I? Maybe not.
Please don't spot me. Ooh, that was lucky. <gasps> Jeez. John! Two of them have escaped. John, this way. We must have run into the factory. After them. Looks like they're gone. A show stopping performance as always, Don. Saw my left life flash before my eyes for a second back there. Eek! But I'm afraid we're not in the clear just yet. You don't suppose a. Uh, uh, we'll do it. Just leave it to us. It's time for heroes to step up to the plate. John. Aren't you forgetting something? Here's your weapon. What that then? Don't worry, we didn't steal any of the ammo. <laughs> I even found a little bit more laying around. <laughs> Hopefully, it comes in hand handy. Stuff right there, eek. I simply can't let you go, not without this. What is it? Oh. Great, you got a cog shooter. You can find it in your weapons menu. Well used. We use this death machine as one of our props. There and doubt it was uh, just a little too dangerous though. But that means it's just the right amount of dangerous for gallant knights such as yourselves. Go give them hell, darling. Well, before I do that, let me go save. Oh, I'm guessing the movie's here consistently, mostly the latter. If your memories, yes. What's in here? Nothing? Alright. Be, be, be careful, okay? Who knows what kind of monsters are up ahead. So we got a bat, whatever that is. Oh, it shoots. Okay, that won't work. Huh. At least it doesn't hurt me. That's a good thing. This is overpowering. Oh, it's gonna be one of those. 
It's like Pong, but worse. I don't do anything. I was just checking. That's it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't want to let me there. I see you. You want something? Oh, I guess that doesn't really do anything good. Oh, aren't you a smart little buddy? I can only save you so much. Okay, this is my aim. I'm sorry. Wow, that actually worked. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to actually work, but it did. I know I'm using up ammo like a like a wild banshee. Might regret doing that. Just need to aim a little better. Okay. Timed. Makes me want to just kind of use the pan at this point, huh? Alright. Just have at least 14 with me in backup. Alright. From here, I'm just gonna kind of use the pan a little bit. Oh, except that one. Nope, go back, go back. Let's try to do this way. Excuse me? It didn't, uh... Hmm. There. That's not good.
holding down until I get my ammo, but oh yeah. I mean, basically, I can just kind of bap them. Bap them or explode them, either one. Oops. I have a feeling we're going to need this. Just, <laughs> just bap them. Just bap as much as you can because I came prepared for food and all that good stuff. This room. Wait, shouldn't she be here? You're not gonna. Mom, there you are. Analyzing target. Mother, welcome back. Mother. Initiating playback. Hello, maggot. I never thought you'd make it this far. Or did I? After all, I did pre-record this message. Ha ha ha. If you want to know where Isabel is... Isabel! Yes, you likely just shouted her name right now. Well, if you want to know where she is, come to the easternmost car of the train. Of the train. <laughs> I prepared a little surprise for you. <laughs> hey, where's Isabel, huh? Tell us where she is. Where where Isabel is. Locating Isabel. Insignificant data is significant data. John, we need to get to that car now. What about this? thing here. Can we just bap it? So what do we got here? Energy drinks. Let me go ahead and drink one. Then I'll buy another one. Then I'm gonna also use up my ammo stuff. This. That. Ammo. Great. Save station. I've seen a few crazy memories in my time. Believe me, some people have crazy abilities. Save your memories. <laughs> All right. Right. Looks like they've been this guy's been staying here for some time. Did he's pizza? But I think I did everything I need. I think I I can kind of handle whatever's going on here. Well, that was dramatic. Fools! I knew you'd take my fiendishly laid bait. Where's Isabel and Alva? Where, what did you do with them? Isabel, this Alva, that. Do you, you have nothing better to blather on about? Certainly have plenty of things I'd like to talk to you about. Mother. My name's Sam. Now, I'm not anyone's mother. Don't tell me. 
You don't remember? <laughs> after all this time, after all these calamities, you don't even remember? Very well. Allow me to be the undertaker of this unfortunate tale and bury you alive. Judging. Hey, what the heck? So we can't really do anything when he's choo chewing like this. Oh, Sam. Oh, he trolled me. Alright, we're gonna do this. Let's go ahead and use just one of these. that well I shouldn't have oops well you can't say I didn't stop the train though oh, that's all right take it take it take those hits it's fine I come prepared anyways You would come to me. <laughs> Do you guys enjoy my explosions? He threw off for a minute. <laughs> That's alright, enjoy your free hits. Take it like a tank. Oh, it runs now fire tracks. As if it wasn't already bad. Whoa! Not to mention fire with bananas. Oh <laughs> boy. Alright, let's also stack up on my ammo. That's 
not ask for that. Oh, I wasn't expecting the bomb to go like, you know what I mean? Oh! Oh, my poor girl. Get away from that. Yeah, right all up in there. <laughs> That's how you do it. You just go right in there. No mercy. You get your extra heart. Just do it like a pro. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> Alright. That was a good battle, though. I really enjoyed that. A formidable foe, indeed. Where's this... <coughs> Where's Isabel and Alva? You want to know where your precious Isabel and Alva went, do you? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, no touchy, no touchy. Fine, I'll tell you everything, I know. She did come here, this Isabel of yours, but it was a long, long, long time ago. And she already long gone as well, off to Esther City. Do you... Truly remember nothing, mother? You must have me confused with someone else. Oop, oop. Quite the situation we got ourselves in. Wasn't it? I say, if it weren't for you two, I'd shudder to think what would have happened. And yet, I'm afraid I don't know any way we can help you in return. Eek! You haven't seen Isabel, have you? Isabel, Isabel. Come to think of it, that has... That name has graced the cortex once before, Eek. Wait, I know. The Rocket Knight. That's who she is. Ook, ook, ook! Is that so? Oh, That's who you seek, is it? You've seen her, then? I'm afraid that was before my time, before I was born, actually. But I've seen her name before in the old scripts. Leave it to Bella to remember details like that. Um, that pure, unadulterated talent. Yes, yes. I remember now, I do. Eek! That was back in my younger days as a fresh face star. She crashed the rocket of hers right into the side of our train. Quite similar to your little engine, I might add. Now then, what is it you need her for, hmm? Eek? But wait, that can't be right. She only left New Damn City a few days ago. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken, my dear. I move differently within this fog. Unpredictably, you might say. One hour could be last as short as a minute in the outside world. Or as long as a year. That's then where's Isabel now? Ook, ook. If my memory serves me correctly, she didn't stay long. Nay, she left nearly as soon as she arrived. Eek. Didn't she leave the rocket of hers here? Yes, she did. The question then is where? Hook, hook, hack. Why not ask the young master? I remember him taking a keen interest in the girl at the time. He's with the other humans watching TV. Certainly can't hurt to ask. Eek. Alright. 
And so, I will save. I will save just in case, knowing it is extremely dangerous for me to go without anything, but we're going to go. Wahaha, <laughs> the face, the drollery. This program is a riot a minute. Solomon. Out of the way, you cotton-headed moppet. You're blocking the view. Oh, it's you two. Here for a glimpse of the old boob tube as well? I'd never realized how positively entertaining it could be. Where's Isabel's rocket? What's that? You need a socket? I'm afraid you'll have to find another. This one's already taken. What have you done? Biscuit Monsters was just about to make his appearance. What are you looking at, you fool? You want to fight, is that it? Yes, it's always this cuffs with you, isn't it? Isabel's rocket, where is it? Isabel, you say. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Yes. I believe I attach a remote control to it. Yes. Where I left it, however, is a bit foggy. Aha, uh -huh, yes. It's in the train. It's in that train of mine now, I remember. Now let's go check it out. Wait, right there. Turn that delightful program back on, if you would be so kind. Let's go! Well, it's not obviously this train. Yeah. A train within a train. I'm not too sure if we gotta go all the way back, but we will find out. Oh, but there's a clicking thing, so that's a good thing. So, let's see here. Well... Let's try a new recipe. Okay. Nope, not so lucky today. Mm. Steamed eggs. Okay. Oopsies. Fish. Onions. Make a sandwich out of that. Okay. Oh my. My luck seemed to have ran out there. He still sells stuff. Uh, 
Draw cookies. So that's maxed. Take some frog cookies, why not? And we're gonna save. That there you guys guys are. Yeah, n n now we don't have to worry about that st stupid fog. Oh ho, I spy with my little eyes a spickety spark of treasure. Hmm, what's this switch doing here? Oh dear. Okay. Ah, the remote control. I love, I just love how he punches that thing. Like, it's nothing. It's like he stops a lot of stuff. The stupid remote control doesn't work. You don't think he was lying, do you? Well, let me take a look. Uh, it's out of p p power. Give me a sec. D -d there, try it again. Quiz time! Hello and good evening, my delectable little maggots. And welcome to Solomon's Wonderful Game of Knowledge, where no one at all dies! Maggots, that's not very nice. How remarkably insightful of you, Mr. Socially Maladroit. Droit? Maladroit? <laughs> I couldn't help but notice a significant drop in viewers lately. So, for this episode, I'm proud to announce that I'm offering a special prize. <laughs> What could this prize be, I wonder? Perhaps or Solomon's coveted treasure? Or maybe a lamp capable of granting your deepest desires? Or could it be a get out of harvest free card? Hmm, beep beep, wrong wrong, all wrong. None of those boring old things could ever have a privilege of being called a special prize. Quite lacquous uh, for an evil mastermind. I thought he'd be a, a lot scarier. No, the special prize is none other than one, the one, the only rocket that once belonged to Isabel. You heard me right, my dear, darling maggots. I'm referring to that. Isabel. Rocket, did you hear that? He said rocket. I can already feel your little fingers wriggling themselves with desire. So let us begin this 560th episode of Solomon's wonderful game of knowledge. Oh, and it's too long to say the rest. First question. The largest port in the east, reference to a shining pearl of the coast, is where? Is it White Bay, Whitewell Bay, or B, Easter City Harbor? Whitewell Bay, one of the names of old, yes? What do you think, Daniel? I remember 
Light Whale Bay from the first time we m m met Sam. Such speed. Should we choose A2? Wait, wait, I can't help but feel this might be a trap. Though it may have once have been a harbor, the region is now frosted sprawls of mon mountains. No, I believe Easter City Harbor may be the answer we're looking for. Da -da -da, let's choose B. Oh, we'll go with her. Are you maggots ready for the answer? Ho ho ho! It's Whitewell Bay! Anyone who answered wrong is a foolish twit. Wait, wait, we're wrong? Hush. Not even those monkeys could have gotten such an easy question wrong. Anyone who expect to win the special prize by answering such easy questions is an equally as foolish twit, but I digress. Second question. The road to Esther City is shrouded in a strange fog. What is it that the fog robs from us? Is it A. Directions, B. Time? This one's so hard. What, do you, what are you going to choose, Daniel? Or I guess maybe directions? When I was driving the Iron Cabin, I could barely see through the fog. Huh? I guess I'll choose direction two then. Ha! Huh. I feel it's time. Are you ready for the answer? It is time! So surely no one was an imbecilic enough to actually choose <laughs> direction. <laughs> right then, the warm up is over. Shall we <laughs> speed things up a bit? Third question What is the ultimate goal for us, Harvester? A. To destroy mankind, or B. To create a new and more advanced mankind? Uh oh. Good. Okay, there we go. I was like, wait a minute. That certainly took a dark turn. You think we're safe? Sam already answered. Why does this feel so serious all of a sudden? At any rate, shall we go with B? No! The harvest does nothing but destroy. Of course, of course. I was only joking. So far, it has destroyed mankind, but I've noticed it created something in there. This one's a trippy one. Do I really want to agree with everybody? Cause I mean there were zombies out there, but it did seem to be destroying. But she's she's pretty serious, so I guess I'll, I guess I will join her with the A crew. I'll join her with A. And the answer is, of course, to create a m new, more advanced mankind. That that's wrong. You're not creating an knew anything. All you do is destroy. I imagine a few dollars in the audience likely answered the question wrong. <laughs> but what more could you expect? 
Animals like you couldn't dream of understanding the sheer complexity of us higher beings. At any rate, we're rapidly approaching the show's climax. It's time for the final question. The question that transcends time to ultimate questions of the universe. When the world descends into the darkest of darkness, who is it that shall be its guiding light? Is it A? Oh! <laughs> Let me hear you shout your answers to the world. I don't even want to answer this one. I'm afraid we must if we have hope in finding that rocket. Obviously. Well, aren't you, Mr. Confident? Ugh, fine. Now then. Let's take a look at all your beautiful little answers. At any rate, you did manage to answer the ultimate question of the universe correctly. So I'll just go ahead and give you the prize anyways. Isn't that this is Isabel's rocket? And a real one this time. How fortuitous. Now, we should have plenty of power. Really? The speed of the iron carbine. The explosive p p power of the rocket. It, m it might just w w work. The only problem is the the fuel. Do we have enough for both? There's no way to know until we try. Daniel. Yes, sir. I'll leave the rest to you. Yes, sir. Daniel, he's so mighty. I had a feeling it was about creating a new world of humans, but... I just wanted to answer with her. They're here! Eek! What's this? Everyone's here. Eastward on the midnight tr midnight train. Huh? What's that? The name of our next blockbuster production, darling. <laughs> Eek! That's right. We decided to immortalize, immortalize your endeavor in film. Visitor from the world of fog. <laughs> he crushed the shackles of time. A. Hey. Who saved the world from destruction? Ook ook ok. You guys. It's just like you said, isn't it? Disaster befell your city. And now, your journey to Esther City to save your friends. Are you not? Eek. A feat you'll have no problem accomplishing, darling. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to do it. Good luck. Eek. I await news for your glorious victorious with babe with a bated breath. Well... Wait for you to return before holding the grand premiere. Eek! How sweet. P -p Perfect! The brakes are, are ready and raring to go. As adapted as always, my auto animatronic associate it was actually easier than I ex expected but what a weird r r rocket the, the power unit itself is simple but it has three emergency escape s s s system yes I suppose whoever designed it must have been greatly concerned for the pilot at any rate It would appear we're go for launch, as they say.
this time I have a rocket. It's is the rocket even working? I don't feel any difference. But the rocket consumes a surprising amount of of, of fuel. We should save it until the crucial moment. Impeccable work, Daniel. Now then, where's the grash opponent of ours? The, the, there, the, the fog. Seems our little friend is here to pay us a visit again, yet again. There we go. Daniel, prepare the, for battle. Roger the, the, that. Increasing s s speed. I'll put 50%, 70, 90% but for full speed ahead. Whoa, they too have a rocket? It's catching up! Activating rocket for pr pr propulsion system. It's still gaining on us. Faster, we need to go faster. The, the cooling system can't keep up. You're just gonna give. Ignition, if only we had the old coin of mine. The, the, the heat is stabilizing. What happened? Don't mind that. Just get this thing moving as fast as it can go. Woo! What a rocket. Looks like we've l l lost it. Then it would appear we've succeeded. At this rate, we'll be at Easter City in no time. I wonder if it's pronounced Esther or, you know. <laughs> How do you define cold? It is low temperature, absence of temperature altogether. Esther City is cold. To the point of time itself has frozen. At the edge of the world, hope to preserve it, preservance go unanswered. The way back is covered in snow, and the horizon a candle light flickers. What is that? Could it be Isabel? Could Alva be there? Hurry, John. We need to catch up with that light. To be continued. And we completed chapter 6. What a journey. How dreadfully chilly. Peek your curious eyes outside if you would, my friend. It would seem no one's here. Her 
Perfect timing with snow, huh? <laughs> it's so white. What is it? That, my lady, is snow. We've arrived, then at last, Esther City. Were you a good man, a bad man? It matters not, for today you lie in the ground. Whether your name lives on or is forgotten in time, it's all the same to you now. Farewell, farewell Professor, Professor Solomon. May you now become one of the past. Become one with the past. Professor Solomon? Hmm. Sean, what is this place? Didn't we just arrive at Ether City? What happened? Where are Daniel and William? Where's the iron carbine? Wait, I know. Let's try calling the Sonic Punk. No response. Don't tell me Sonic Punk is gone too. Hey, can you hear me? Mr. Sonic Punk! Boy, the shouting and the hollering at a, at a person's funeral, no less. You humans, you think you have at least a shred of dignity at, this, at a time like this. Not even a floa? This is what you call sacrilege. It really is. Then this is what you humans are like, is it? You said this was a funeral. Whose funeral is it? You don't even know that, do you? Just what do you think you're doing here, anyway? Uh, I guess we don't really know that either. Humans, huh? Always with the promising and vowing, but... Ain't a one of them worth a worth a <laughs> damn. Well, now you listen here, you bags of bones. The sleeping right here is none other than my great Vester, all knowing the greatest thinker of Vester, the guy who's with some profile, the, the one that ain't. Oh my. You ain't gonna find more distinguished scientists in all of the world. The one, the only, Solomon. Not Solomon again. Again? Huh. If ever there was a soul sharing the name of my master, well... Let's just say they better be pretty damn appreciative. You mentioned Esther City earlier. Is this Esther City? This? This here island is... Island of Time located at the end of the world, is it? It is. Every last one of Esther City's greatest mind is buried here. I know you must feel quite sad right now, but we really need to get to Esther City. Would you listen 
to this, not even a word of sympathy. Just straight on with the asking and the demanding. Fine, you know what? I don't even care. South uh, here, you'll find a dock. The boat there will take you to Esther City. Thank you very much. Can I ask your name? Ah, finally, a shred of manners. My name is Floyd Eternal, servant of the Great Solomon. Thank you, Mr. Floyd. Alright. And so, of course, I will save here. There are countless memories in here, even older than me. But I'm afraid that will that no one will ever load them again. Save your memories? Alright, and with that I hope you guys stay safe out there, and I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and uh, I really appreciate it with you guys being supportive here through my entire journey. Uh, we uh, have finally pushed on here to seven, so uh, almost there. But uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed the chapters, uh, and uh, please remember to hit that like button, and please be sure to subscribe. So that way you guys don't miss out any content that comes here on my channel. Until then, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye guys!